I had a request to specifically test the 168 grain Acumon long range 30 caliber bullet out of a 308. I shot them out of my Ruger M77 compact with a 16 and a half inch barrel so that that uh, high velocity load would be really similar to what if you shot out of a standard 20 to 22 inch barrel rifle what you should expect at roughly 100 yards. The high velocity load was between 25 and 2600 feet per second. I shot two of the lower velocity loads. One was 1288, so just under 1300 feet per second. The other one was just over 1400 feet per second. Starting left to right, we'll go over what the that higher velocity load did. Coming through my piece of leather and board and moving that fast, pretty much instantaneously opening, causing that massive portion of the permanent wound cavity to be from the inch and a half mark to just past the 10 inch mark where it tapers down, still carrying some decent permanent wound cavity to 17 and 5 eighths with that bullet stopping leading edge at 22 and 3 eighths that larger <coughs> portion of that permanent wound cavity I got uh, tears on two sides of my block but not all four sides so we're running just shy of five inches a good four and a half there by almost a true five the other direction so that did a excellent job at that velocity range then we have those low velocity rounds and you know that uh, over 100 feet per second difference between the two but the permanent wound cavities look almost identical one came through angled and veer out the gel the other way the other one is a good quarter inch to the right of the other one and it happened to veer the other way so we can see both wound channels you know the permanent wound cavity is fairly decent but they're exiting the gel block at that 17 to 17 and a half inch mark real close on both of them that uh, started opening up in that bigger permanent wound cavity at the uh, three and an eighth inch mark from that four inch mark till you exit the gel you have that good sized permanent wound cavity and it is going to be two and an eighth by two inches and that other one looks so close I'm just not going to measure it let's go ahead and dig this bullet out so I can weigh it for those of you who like to see the uh, weight retentions it's about in the middle of the block so we're just going to cut right in there to it alright and I'm going to go rinse it under hot water and be right back and all that gel out of it so we can get a more accurate weight retention it is a 134.1 retained weight and you will see 
um, on these Acubon long ranges, how they don't pedal consistently. And that's why on those lower velocities, you really tend to get the veers. It's peeling back more on one side than the other, and it just pushes the bullet that way. But uh, overall, happy with the performance. I have uh, used these bullets out of that gun to harvest elk. They're an excellent bullet. I absolutely love them. As far as my primary reason for doing the tests that I'm doing, kind of pushing the upper limits of bullets um, and that lower end, uh, Nosler really has set a new standard for how broad of a range a bullet will still perform good in without over grenading and still getting the penetration you need yet opening up and causing an extensive wound channel at lower velocities making a better long range bullet there's just very very few on the market that will actually perform good at a high velocity and not grenade at a close range or you know perform well at long range the lower velocities and not grenade at the higher velocities close range so if this is a bullet you're considering I got them shooting good out of my gun I absolutely love them out of my 308 for hunting like I said I've harvested elk with them they do a phenomenal job but this this particular video was done for somebody who uses a different bullet currently in their 308 and wanted to see it in gel and not just take my recommendation on it so I went ahead and did this video so I can uh, show him and he can see it with his own eyes but also to upload to YouTube for everybody so I hope you guys enjoy this video